Hello and welcome to Wine Baron. This is episode 7 and an episode that I didn't think I would make. It's about the, it's about the grass. So we've uh, mowed the, the big field and as you know we were going to bail it up, make hay make hay, bail it up and sell it, hopefully bring in some money. Well, things have changed slightly. As you can see I've uh, leased a slightly bigger tedder so that we can uh, get through the job a lot quicker. And that was one of the first problems I had. Obviously the equipment that we have is kind of designed to be working on the vines system or the, or the vines with narrow gaps so the equipment is pretty small. So this big open field that we haven't planted yet um, would have taken ages to do so I decided to lease equipment to speed it up a bit. So the first thing we leased was of course the tedder that worked pretty well just finishing off the tedding now of the of the field it's gone pretty quickly so at this stage I'm still pretty happy things are going according to plan just got this last little bit to do there's a fair amount of grass of course this as mentioned in the last episode, I think this um, this field was not really looked after, so we're not getting a great yield, but there should still be a fair amount of bales to to bring in. Let's just finish off this last little bit, and we'll get this back to the store. We'll well, they're going to come and collect it from the farm, so let's head up back to the farm and drop it off. And then we'll uh, lease ourselves a, a windrower. We'll get this all windrowed. So at this point in time, we're incurring some extra expense in the, bringing this field in. I do like coming through this entrance sometimes. <laughs> right, let's just get that returned, get them to come and fetch it, and we'll, at the same time, they can bring us up a windrower. We'll get this big one, get it done as quickly as possible. This is a big windrow. It's going to make short work of that field. Just hope it doesn't create swaths that are too big for our rather simple baler. That view is really fantastic. Let's we'll get this going. To show you a little bit of this as well. This Lamborghini is just about the right size for this. While I was doing it, um, I don't think you will see it, but um, it did slide a little bit on the on the uphills when I was going across, but it wasn't too bad. It wasn't even really noticeable. Managed to correct it pretty quickly. 
That was the main problem, was trying to stop it on the downhill. <laughs> right, we just got this last little bit to do. Then we can get bailing. Yes, at this stage we had to incur the cost of the of the leasing of this windrow and the and the tedder of course. So it put us a good a good four and a half thousand, five thousand into into this field. to start off with so um, well before we've even bailed a bale let's put it that way <laughs> at least our baler should be able to handle this just get this dropped off so that the store can come and fetch it should be able to collect that any minute now. In the meantime we'll get the baler hooked up. I think we might have to move that, well we're going to have to move that um, mower out of the way first of all. Let's get that moved. And get the baler on and go and get those bales done. Yes, so up until this point things were still going okay. I was fairly happy with what was going on. I was fairly comfortable with the extra extra expenditure we had made. But at this stage I had not realised that I'd made one fundamental error and we'll soon see what it is. Let's just get this bailed up first. Yeah, I don't think we've used this yet, so everything should be okay. Let's get out to the field. Do like the mountains in the, in the distance as we come out of there as well. Folded. Let's get going. And we're off, as I say. I mention this in just about every episode that I use this baler, one of my favourites. little bit worried about going down the hill here. Yeah? Hope the baler doesn't push us down too fast or anything. Shouldn't do that. No, it's okay. Doing alright. I've just dropped off one there. Yep, that's the first one, I think. In the event, we'll uh, just jump cut to the 
a dish of this operation. So we've done that, we've got nearly 30 bales out of here. So that's not too bad. Big bales, 240 centimeter bales. So now we can just get this done, finished off. We'll go around, pick up all the bits and pieces, and then we'll get this back to the to the farm and we'll um, have to lease a bale loader let's pick up the scraps see if we can get another a full bale out of here I doubt it because there wasn't much left behind while we were doing the job got to just give it a try that's in there for the next for the next time in any event so it's not an absolute lost cause. I will just offload what's in here. There we go, 30 bales. Let's get this back and go and get the gun lease of bale loader. Get these bales picked up and sold. Quite handy that this um, this grape silo came with two little sheds attached, or a shed attached, enough room to park all our grass equipment in there. I suppose technically we should be po parking our uh, grape equipment in there, but still. <laughs> Any event, I think this is the baler that we'll, or the bale loader that we'll get. We'll get that least so there's another four thousand so we round about eight nine thousand into the um into this grass field in terms of leasing fees so not great and now i'm starting to get nervous whether we've spent too much but we will find out Right, so let's get this going. So I think this bailer takes takes 14 I think. So let's get these 14 loaded up quickly and uh, and get them sold. Hopefully bring in a bit of money. Speed this up a little bit. I was watching a video of, of um, one of these bell collectors in action in real life. Fantastic, fantastic bit of equipment for farmers that you use or that have a lot of bales to pick up. Right, so now we're going to have a look and see. So I was really disappointed with the pricing. <laughs> so looks like just under 100 euros per thousand litres. I've got a few thousand litres. So it looks like the farm area well, the farm sale is about the best at the moment. Now the pet shop there, I couldn't find on the map. And when I put in the um, 
the marker for the destinations. Um, just the well, there isn't anything. So I'm not sure that there is one on the map, and I was not quite sure then why it's showing over there. But I'll investigate that a little bit in a bit more depth later on. So let's go and see if we can get this sold. So now I'm starting to get worried about whether we're going to actually recover all the costs that we've incurred. I'm thinking, well, at least we don't have to go too far to make the deliveries. Get this offloaded here. Be nice if this thing actually tipped sideways, but it doesn't. <laughs> but you could, what you do is you get a nice high stack of bales. Oh, I suppose it's not too bad, really. And here's the first problem. This sail point doesn't take bales. It obviously takes loose hay, but not bales. So we'll have to get that reloaded. And then uh, we'll have to go down to the we we'll have to go down to town and go and sell it at the um, at the barn. So let's head on back to town and go and sell it there. So yeah, best laid pans, as they say sometimes come to naught. Just picked up a thermos of coffee to take with me. Let's get going. And we'll see you when we down there. Oops. Trying to drink a cup of coffee at the same time, there I was. <laughs> Don't drink and drive, even if it's coffee. <laughs> right, here we are at the barn. This will definitely take bells. Let's see how much we get for this slot. The moment of truth. So just about ten thousand. So we might have made a thousand euros on that on that first load. Um, taking into well, not taking any of the other expenses into account, just taking into the account the money that we spent on leasing all that big equipment. So not a good move. But we've still got another 16 bales or so uh, to pick up. And my thinking is that I thought to myself, well, that, that's probably going to bring in another 10, 12,000. It's not a huge amount, but it's, you know, it is, it is income. But with all the grass that we're going to, well, with the, the grass that we're going to get from mowing in between the vines. I'm going to get some free range sheep. I'll put them up. Well, we'll see in a minute where I'm going to do it. And uh, produce wool. Now the sheep can well, operate just as well just on pure grass so we won't have to do the tedding. So basically all we would need to do is just cut the grass uh, bale it up and then um, uh, 
feed it to the sheep. I need a bit of water. And there we go. Well, well they just need the grass and hopefully we'll get enough grass out of this um, out of these two fields to keep them uh, in feed. So let's put up some fenceless some fenceless um, sheep areas and we'll create a little sheep we have some sheep roaming on these little hills here. I think we'll do four of them, they take 50 sheep each. Just gives us a bit of a free range sheep operation. Get some good some good wool out of it. Right, we'll do the rest of this just on I've speeded it all up. And uh just let you sit and watch and enjoy the whole operation.
Right, you're back with me. Just about to finish off the operation by buying in the sheep now. Um, as you can see, we've made it pretty rough and ready, the whole operation. I want to keep that feeling that it's a free range sheep on the hillside, even though we do have to feed and all that type of stuff. So we've put water in for them. I think we're going to get. I think we'll get 16 sheep in each. Let's just finish doing the water. Don't take an awful lot of water. I'll put uh, water sources next to each to each water trough, but um, it may have been slightly overkill. They weren't too expensive, but uh, could have done with just one. They only take about 1,500 liters of water at a time. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to put in 16 sheep into each pasture. Um, the pastures do hold 50 each, so we have 200 sheep eventually. And that should give us um, enough um, Should give us enough uh, wool to get a better return on the grass that we are going to be producing. Well, that's the theory. But as if this episode has proved anything, best lays pans. Wait and see how they turn out. <laughs> Right, let's get the rest of the sheep in there. We put 16 into each pasture, get that all done. And as we're doing that, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Do hope you've enjoyed this. Not exactly where we thought we were going to be. If you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and cheerio.